As part of Heritage Month, President Jacob Zuma and his Mozambican counterpart Felipe Nyusi will unveil the Matola Monument just outside the Mozambican capital Maputo. The monument was built in remembrance of those who died during the 1981 raid by the then South African Defence Force. In January 1981, members of the ANC's military wing Umkontewe Sizwe and one Mozambican national were gunned down during the raid by the South African Defence Force Special Forces disguised as Mozambican soldiers. For survivors, the fateful day will remain in their memories and for their families, a painful reminder. We went to a Cuban house where we were held by the Cubans with first aid and I was able to phone then our headquarters uh, in Maputo where then the deputy president or the president uh, Jacob Zuma then was finally informed and then we got assistance. We managed to attend the funeral. Uh, I must remember my parents didn't see him for quite a few years, especially my dad. So hearing the news of his death was quite an emotional uh, experience and uh, even I would travel to Mozambique for the burial. He's still buried in Mozambique. So even today, you know, we're still trying to come to terms with his death, uh, uh, although my parents are late. But uh, that loss of their son also affected their health. This will bring closure to one of the most traumatic incidents during the apartheid era in one of the frontline states. My husband didn't have a family unit like mother and father together. He was just brought up by his mother and when he was gone I was left with my son to bring him up. It was a loss for me but it was the loss for the nation. It was the loss for everybody, especially the South Africans because he represented the South African um, a trade unions which was a military wing of the African National Congress. He worked all his life as a unionist, organizing and working for the African National Congress. He never had an income on his own. But when we got married, we formed a family unit and that was disrupted. South Africa will embark on similar projects in many other frontline states which supported the liberation movement during the dark days. Sophie Mukwen, SABC News, Johannesburg. 23 years cannot